All right, how are we doing? Good morning. Now, my parents told us they wanted to spend a few days at the beach here in Thailand, so we thought we're better to take them than Kot Kud, one of Thailand's most beautiful islands. Check it out. So we'll go for breakfast now and then we'll kick things off, let's go. So we'll start the day with a hotel breakfast. There's a buffet over there and I'll be honest, it's extremely average, but it fills you up for the day. You can get as much as you want. You can eat like three plates if you want. So we've got a um, green curry. Again, not very good, pretty watery. But we've got some custard apple today. And mum's never tried custard apple, so we'll let mum try that in a minute. And you can't complain when you're eating here because we're pretty much on the beach. The beach side tables have been taken today. But it's still a lovely view, isn't it? Look at that. Jungle ocean. Good, isn't it, Mum? Stunning. Amazing. Love it. There we go, everyone's happy. So Mum's going to try that custard apple now. I'll just get these seeds out, as I've been told to do. <laughs> you can pop it all in your mouth, you just have to spit the seeds out after. No, I'll just try a chunk. Like custard. Really? <laughs> I really like them. Mm, they're really sweet. Aren't they? Yeah. That is really yummy. It's a hit. Yeah. It's a fruit we don't eat much, the custard, but when, every time you do it, it's always really good. So there we go, let's uh, start the day. Alicia's got her toast and her eggs and her pineapple. She's making pineapple ham and egg sandwiches, I'm I think. Going wild today. That's what's going down here. <laughs> I'm going for a different one. I'm going to be careful because every day I keep eating like two huge plates and I'm I have no energy, I just have to go and fall asleep. Yeah, now nah, you're alright, mate. Right, let's walk down here, down the beach to our room and show you what's going on because it is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Look at this for a beach, tides out. Gorgeous beach, nice and soft. Look at the views. Look at the water. So my advice to you if you're coming to Kotkud would be to stay off the beach in a nice little area in the jungle or if you want to stay on the beach make sure you have a bike because you don't want to be a slave to the hotel restaurant believe me it's not very good and the food's like three times the price and it's not what you need if you have a bike you can head off you can just drive five minutes down the road you can get some really good thai food meet some lovely people and you're just gonna have a better time so that's what we're gonna to do today i'm just gonna quickly show you the room i'm not too interested in pushing the hotel but Here's the room, nice and little. We've got a nice view. We're happy. So yeah, we're gonna jump on the bike and explore. Got cool, let's go. Here's your daily Thai misspelling. The recycle station. Brilliant. Right, so here we'll introduce you to one of the hotel's dogs. <laughs> now this little fella is called Jerd, which we've been told means heart in Khmer language and he's actually really nice he keeps coming to our deck in the evening feels like a horse ridgeback see this on his back this little strip of hair grows the opposite way than the rest of his body look at his little tail Wee. see you later mate so we've got ourselves a bike now this was just over 200 baht a day it's actually a decent little bike so what we're going to do is head off out to what I think is the best beach here on Kotku. Let's go. Right, and we're off. I think it's only like a 10 minute drive to where we're heading. It's a nice road and then, to be fair, it's a bit of a sketchy road if I remember correctly, but we'll see, it's a beautiful day. Excited, Leash? Yeah, I can't wait. I love this beach. I can't believe it's been a year since we were last here too. Yeah, a it's full, mental. full year. Here we go. We've got mum and dad convoying behind us. Give us a wave, dad. So yeah. <laughs> Not a bad place to drive, is it? Oh, this is where the road gets a bit shifty. Right, 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 right. So this is the dodgy road bit. It's not a bad road. It's just a bit trickier than the main road. Especially when you've got one hand driving, one hand filming. Right, we're here, parked up. We'll check the beach out now. But how about this for a tail, right? My dad, the other day, goes and rents us the bikes. I say, Dad, do you know how to drive a bike? He's like, yeah, I've driven them loads before. I'm like, all right then. 
giving it all the, the cocky big one and then bloody a few hours later we have um, tea at an Eastern restaurant, we go to leave, what does he do Leash? I don't know what he did but he, he was looking straight and he accelerated and he didn't turn the bike <laughs> and then the next thing you know he's on the floor. Just flopped off the bike, Eastern restaurant owners run out, pick the bike up, spun it around for him, he's like, it's because you're all looking at me. Your eyes are all on me. Yeah, he was feeling a bit of pressure because everyone was worried. Because when he arrived at the Yusan restaurant, oh gosh, he took oh. the bike to let your mum off. Whiskey throttle, and nearly was, another disaster. Yeah. So right. everyone was keeping a close eye. Yeah. I think. So yeah, he's there. I've driven bikes loads. Yeah. Never, oh, never drew one in his life. The first time, didn't it? Dad, do you have any words about your motorbike crash? What crash was that? <laughs> I didn't crash. I just yeah. jumped off. Oh. <laughs> jumped off, we're calling it, right? <laughs> I thought you'd driven bikes loads in your life when you were younger. <laughs> you're a fraud. I've just been all over the island on the bike. <laughs> Taking your mum all over, what's the matter? All good. Mate, look at this. One little miss out jumping off. Right then, here we are, Klonghin Beach, aka Russian Beach, because there's always loads of Russian tourists here. And yeah, for me, it's got to be one of the most beautiful on Got Good. Look at it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the sand, look at the water. Dad's on big swing, We've got these swings. Honestly, it's absolutely beautiful. If you do come to Kotkud, make sure you visit this beach, even if you just come to visit. If you've seen our videos last time we were in Kotkud, you remember this swing, the death swings. So you can proper like spin these up. Oh my god! You can like. You can proper spin it up and then swing people and they like, they nearly fall off and die. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Now watch this. Give her the big spin. Oh, she's gone now. <laughs> Look at that. If you swing it right up as well, it's literally the worst thing on planet Earth, that. <sighs> what a beach, what a place. Klong Hin. Palm tree backed, bloody white sand beach. Right, we'll quickly show you the water while we're here. Let's go for a little swim. Show you what it's like. It looks like it's really shallow until you get all the way out of there. Fairly cool. Nice temperature. Look how see through it is. It's crystal clear. It's well nice. And then you've got the view of the beach when you're in here. It's bloody well nice. Oh, my bum hit the floor. But yeah, it's lovely. It's definitely one of the best beaches on the island, Dad. there's no doubt about it. Make sure you come. We'll chill here for a few hours, not camera. All that caught me by surprise that way, and enjoy it. Got these little sneaker waves, look at this, ay ay ay. Right, see you later. So if you needed any more reasoning as to why I call this the Russian beach. Here you go. This is the massage menu in Russian. Massage. And here we go, we've got everything. What have we got? 400 to 600 baht. We've got aloe vera. There we go. Nice place to have a massage though, isn't it? Here under the trees. But I have got to tell you something. About 10 minutes ago, a snake jumped out of this tree onto the massage ladies. So you might die if you have a massage there. What do you think of Russian Beach? It, absolutely. It's very nice. Very, very nice. nice. Beach, yeah. <laughs> it's very good. Very good? Very, very nice. It's a good beach. Okay. I like it. Ah, right, there we go. So we'll head back to the bikes now. I'm going on a little mission, grab a snack. But, like I was saying before, you don't need to be staying here. To use this beach, all the beaches are public, so you can just stay wherever you want and just visit the beach all day, all night, whatever, whenever you want. So yeah, fantastic. All right then, off we go guys. To get ourselves some snacks. That is the plan. 
after a drive back through the jungle. To be fair, it's a really nice drive. Just a bit suspicious, this road, but it is what it is. It's not that bad. So we were on our way to a really good little rotty spot, but he's not open yet, we're gutted. So we've come down here to a coffee shop, which we've come to every single day, sometimes twice a day. My dad's been an espresso addict in here, he's been in every day. And this is where we also got the motorbike from. So they sell petrol and they have loads of bikes around, good bikes as well. It's called Cert something, anyway. They do loads of drinks, so everyone's had a drink. We've just got a latte, we've had charma now, we've had espresso. Now I'm getting a mango smoothie. What fresh mango, fresh fruit. So she can make you any fruit smoothie you want. And then you've got the coffee and whatnot. Proper tea. So yeah, this lady's lovely. We'll just wait now for the smoothie. How was the drinks? Top spot this dad, isn't it? Yeah, the drinks here are great, yeah. <laughs> Favourite place on Ireland. Oh, a couple of mark up. No. Oh, look at this. How good does this look? Yeah. This is just fresh mango, condensed milk, a bit of evaporated milk. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Let's try it. Look at that, it looks well, look at that. Fantastic. When it's a hot day, you can't beat it. Have a do on that, Dad. It's just light, refreshing. See ya. Fresh. See ya. <laughs> Mine. She's top this lady. Proper hard worker. Just always flat out making drinks on her own. Sometimes her daughter helps. And there's the name, Sir Coffee and Hamburger. She also does pork and chicken. I don't know if she does those burgers still. And she also does laundry. Mum and Dad have had some laundry done, haven't you? Is it that hanging over there? I'm going to put the back. Right. Next to the jackfruit tree. My dad's here as well. It's a little family business, yeah. Rent your bike from here because the resort rents bikes, 300 baht, just walk down the street and rent it for 200 baht. You'd have to be an idiot not to. There you go. What is it? I'll share. I'll share. Are you sure? I'll buy it. No, I'll have it. Gluey tart? Yeah, gluey tart. Oh, fried bananas. Banana. Uh, fried banana. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. Oh, is she not on set? No, she's just given us them. I know, sure. just came and dropped some of fried bananas off. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm. Let's try that. Okay. That was alright. Mm. We're all hungry, it's a nice little snack. Mm -hmm. Where's she got No, I've not seen anyone frying bananas. Where's she got them from? The friend just brought them. She's had one, and she's given us four. Yeah. You took all the bananas off him, Mum. Song Glow Samson? Okay, okay. 234, like. I think we just had five drinks. Yeah, five drinks. Okay. Okay. Ten baht change. Okay, a couple of my cup. Chuck the cup. Right, we're going to head down this road back to the beach. And show you the beach and spend the afternoon there in the sun. Alright, now we're back. I'll just show you the beach properly where we're staying. So, this is Bang Bao Beach. And you know it's Bang Bao Beach by that super long pier that goes out. We're going to head out to that in a minute. I'll show you that. But yeah, I just need to show you the beach properly. So, the tide's in. It's really nice. You've got all these trees that you can sit under in the shade and chill out. This is my mum and dad's room, number seven here. So look at this. Really nice to be fair. Got the deck chairs, the window so you can see the sea when you wake up. So it is really nice. And yeah, just a chilled out place, quiet. It's always quiet, even when it's full. It's um, always fully booked apparently, but it never feels like there's anyone here. So yeah, just check it out. Beautiful stuff, isn't it? Lovely. Right. So I'm going to head over to that pier. Lots of coconuts on these streets though. You've got to watch out, you know. If you're lying underneath here, one of them drops on you. Oh, you're not going to be having a good day, are you? Really nice place. Not much more I can say. It's a beach. They've got some hammocks there in the water. 
when it's low tide you can sit in them. Yeah, let's go to the pier. My favourite part of Bangval Beach, the pier. You'll see when we get there. So you know me, always got a more about summit right, but listen to this. This side of the resort, nice, chilled out, quiet. Our side over here, right? You wouldn't believe it. They're doing like some work in season. Do it out of season so all we can hear is like in the day. Disc saws, nail guns, a lot of stupid stuff. And over here as well is a bar. So instead of listening to this beautiful ocean and the waves, at night we can hear flipping house bass lines pumping. Get that in bin. No one needs that on beach, do they? On a beautiful island like this, here in Gulf of Thailand, you don't need that. But that's just life, innit? There's me more. Let's be positive again. I've got to say it how it is. So we're going to take you down the dock, right? Down this little boardwalk. And this is the best bit of Bang Bao Beach. Go straight out from the middle of the beach, right? And when you're out here, you get the very best view of the beach, look at this, of the jungle mountains, this bloody crystal clear water, it's so nice, so blue honestly, so good to swim in off the end of here, that's where I'm taking you, dad's in, it's bloody lovely, look at the view behind me, decent, nice, yeah, So on the end of the pier, here we've got this net, which you can uh, sunbathe in. Ooh. Ah, you can lie in this if you want, in the sun, with the um, see-through bottom. And then, ooh, you've got a pier, so you can do all, um, you're jumping off here, you've got a little bit to sunbathe on if you want. You've got the slide of death. Can't be bothered with that anymore, last time. Was the bane of my life it's always dry and you like stick to it and hurt yourself but this is the place to be because you got the views we love it out here so we'll have a bit of a mess around here in water the gulf of thailand is all mine Wait. so this Jumping board is pretty class, but I'm convinced it's gonna go sometime soon when some fat person goes in it, because it's like cracked here. Someone's gonna go. A big unit's gonna come. Flipping 300 pound bodybuilder, 300 kilos. He's gonna um, snap, hit him on head. He's gonna drown. <laughs> He's gonna die, yeah. I oh, want to tell us what you think of Bang Bao Beach, man, innit? I think it's so good, innit? But if you need to have a pool, you've got to run down <laughs> here. Otherwise, you're going to pool in your pants. So I've got to ask, how was my jump? I really like your jump on the Bang Bao Beach. <laughs> was it alright? It was really good. I really liked it. I thought you could just maybe you've improved on your, on your spin a bit, right? Okay, I'll try next time okay. then, innit? Okay. I'll try to get better for next one, innit? Innit, bro. What did you think of my jump, man? Honestly, I think I'm going to enter you for Britain's Got Talent next year, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> man. Right, while we're here, just going to give a massive shout out to Kev Nelly Bridges, good mate of me dad's, watches all the videos, top subscriber, you're a legend. Wish you all the best, mate. Show us your best move. Trying to get dad to jump off this corner. Off the corner, go on dad. Right off corner. <laughs> go on. Whee! <laughs> and he's off. Nice. There's all kinds of stuff you can do here. There's, I got a guy the other day to a big fat salmon onto his head. It was so funny. Yeah, you can jump off this. You can do anything. <laughs> Not bad for a 58 year old. You can dive off top of these, you know. Proper dive. Better than me. I'm shy at diving in. <laughs> oh! 
Oh. Ouch. What? Did that hurt? Yeah. It was a flop. All right, Ma, what do you think of this beach then, like? I think it's all right. It's not bad. It's not as good as Glasgow. But I don't mind it. I've, I've maybe seen one better once in uh, Benidorm, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Perhaps. All right, all right, all right. Not nice too one. bad though, is it, man? Uh, you know what? It'd be better right. with a big bottle of Buckfast right here, right <laughs> now. All right, Dad, give you your best dive, man. It's all right, not too bad. All right, that, Dad. See that lad, I can't wait to show the lads of work on Monday that they'll be buzzing. Oh, that was shit, mate. Did you get that one on film, lad? Yeah, right. That's gonna get so many Facebook likes, it's unbelievable. I think it might get more than a hundred. Oh, all the eyes are on him. Oh. So we're gonna jump back on the bikes and we're gonna head for some food. We're gonna head to our favourite restaurant here on the island, here on Cockcut. It's really good. So here we go, the steed. Let's go. Bang! Oh, there we go. Oh, engine lights on. Kick stands up. Okay, we got. Look at this. We've got some friends in the road. What are you doing, mate? What's bloody going on here? Party house. Big, big bloody speakers are out, boom out. Right, we've got a little story time for you. So today I was just driving down the road. I was driving, you know, just near to the middle of the road, just easy going. And some foreigners driving the other way and it's like ushering me to get on the other side of the road, like being an absolute arsehole. And I tell you what, I hate nothing worse than foreigners that come to Thailand and complain about the way Thai people drive in Thailand. You can go home, you don't have to come in and like just just chill out. Why do foreigners worry about everything? Stress about everything. Like, just drive how you want. There's no rule. Just chill out. Just take it easy. Idiots. You're a bell end, mate, if you're watching this. You're not watching it, but you're still a bell end. Look at this lady. Oh, get out of the way. What? What's she doing, man? Going too slow and saying, oh, what's she doing, man? Do you know what I mean? Am I moaning, Lee? Yeah, a little bit. Well. All right then, here is the spot, here we go. Now we're talking, let's just park up. This dog's scared of us every time we're around. Right, there we go, we'll jump off and show you this little spot. Best bloody pack up out on Got Good, I'm telling you. Right, no one in as well. There's never anyone in, it's an absolute criminal offence. This place should be heaving. Everyone's in like the silly t Italian restaurant. Western looking restaurants, like selling at the crap. This is where you want to be eating. Proper, proper food. Right, so we've ordered loads of food and she's cooking it all fresh. It's just going to come out one by one as she does it. But first, my mum's got a dry noodle with the moo crab. Look at that. That is really good looking crispy pork wrap. So we've got some peanut in there, some bits and bobs. It does actually look really good. So that's what my mum's on. There you go, Mum. Oh, thanks. Leisha's got a pad kapow mukob musap mix. It looks well, but it smells amazing. We've got the fried egg. Oh, look at that egg. Oh, oh. that looks good. So yeah, there we go. Then we're waiting for the other dishes still. I'll show you as they come. Then my dad's ordered this as his second dish. This isn't his main dish. We've got a papik gen gai stir fried red curry paste with chicken. Look at that, loads of kaffir lime in there as well. Let's try that. I'm gonna get one of those kaffir limes as well. 
There's a lot to eat here. A lot of people say don't eat it. But I like to eat it. And that's really tasty. Really flavourful that. Good that dog. Lovely, yeah. How's the noodles, Mum? Well Good stuff. Mm. Oh, what's this? The somtam? Mm. Somtam. So there we go. It's it got a nice somtam. No, thank you, Papaya salad. Really? There we go, look at that. Also looks really good. Then I've got a pad kapow mix of everything. So we've got squid in here, we've got moo crab, we've got um, shrimpies as you can see. Got that egg, give that a nice whack. The moo crab here is so good though, it's like crispy and soft, it's perfect. Pork pieces, we've got everything in this. Let's just try it. Let's get a piece of squid. Oh, they're all trying to run away from me. Okay, let's try. It's so good here, I don't know how she does it. But this restaurant makes one of the nicest pack of pals I've had, ever. So good. So good. Right. Proper peppery taste, it's so good. She puts a decent amount of the holy basil in. Look at that. I think it's only like 70, 80 baht. We are on an island, so everything costs a little bit more, but. And then we've got a medley of drinks, Rose on Chang. Got the Green Fanta. Green and Red Fanta in Thailand, absolute classic. Mum's on Coke. And she's on Sweps. I'm try that sometime actually while we're here. There we go. Oh. And this is my dad's actual main dish. So my dad's got Pad Mulhob Gratiem, stir fried crispy pork with garlic. That looks so good. She's generous with that crispy pork. Let's try this sometime. We got that big chili in there. Look at that. Very good. Sometime is very good. Really good. Got a nice pig to it, haven't it? Spicy, limey. Oh, very good. We love this restaurant. We've been here every day. Number one customers. Let's try one of those little shrimpies here in the pack of pal. Look, we've put a chilli on his head, he's got a chilli out. Really good. Oh, it's got fresh chilli taste. Okay. How do I see you? Okay, couple of markup. Hello, Mag. Oh, couple of markup. <laughs> Fantastic spot here. I'm going to put this in the description because if you're in Cockwood, you need to come here. Believe me, it's, it's so good. Like the, the stir fry, she's walking up in there. So good. Oh, it's perfect. Right, so jump back on Steed and head back. Ready, Leash? Full? I'm not ready to leave this restaurant today. I feel like there's too many things to try. It's too good. That's a fair truth. It's a fair truth. Beep. Beep. And we're off. So we're actually going to go and drop the bikes off now. Where we rented them. It's our last day on Cockwood. It's been fantastic. So I'll kind of sum it up when we get back there around everything off. So we've come back to our beloved drinks lady on the way home. Roy's picked up his washing, 60 baht a kilo, wash and dry, and he's getting one last fresh espresso. So there we go, beans have been poured in, fresh ground. What more can you want? There we go. 30 baht, 30 baht an espresso, all right. Picture this down the road. 70 baht near the resort. 70 baht. Ridiculous, so come here. Cert, coffee and bike rental. There we go. Oh, there we go. There it is. Espresso. Last one. How many have you had today? Three, four. Too many. How many coffees? Too many for his blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. What's good, that? A bit of sugar in. Let's get an espresso review.
Ooh. These are great espressos. Yeah. So you get the seal of approval. Yeah. Of course you do. How many have I had? Ten. There you go. Too many. That's all the approval you need, isn't it? Up the espresso. Ah, up the espresso. Up the espresso. Pretty good. Party house, look at that. Some proper Thai tunes on in there. That's proper Thai music, that. How can you not love it? Plastic fire. No, <laughs> the plastic fire, yeah, there you go. Thailand. All right, here we are then, back on Bang Bao Beach. Sun's going down. Just gonna take a walk to end up here and just show you what it's like at sunset. Check it out, that's what we'll do. Here are the insects, are they the cicadas? So loud, so loud. There's your got good sunset last one. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that, just the, the resort, the jungle's just like a silhouette now. Right. This will be the end of the video. Been decent. I think my mum and dad have loved it. We'll ask them tomorrow actually. We'll, we'll um, The outro of this will ask me mum and dad how their holiday's been. Had a nice time? Yeah, it's been really nice. I'm glad that we brought them here because they've loved it. Yeah. Good shout. We're better to bring them than Thailand. One of the greatest countries on the planet. I said it. True in it, oh you can't can't deny it. True? It's true. It's just true in it. Right, so what do you reckon to cook good? So it was just what we needed after being in Bangkok and Vietnam. It was lovely and relaxing, so it was great because we did Bangkok, Vietnam, Chiang Kong, and then Koh Kud where we could just chill for six days in the sun and the sea was stunning. Yeah, it was great Alex, yeah, we really enjoyed it. After all the uh, trudging around everywhere, all the different places we've been, it was nice to kick back for a week on Cold Cud. Yeah, it was good. Good to spend yeah. some time with you and Leisha in somewhere beautiful. Yeah. Perfect. Enjoy go... riding the bikes. Oh. <laughs> Crashing the bikes. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> Being a passenger. Well, I did at the end, it got better. Right. Yeah. There we go.